Electrochemical characterization of elastic carbon electrodes modified with single wall carbon nanotubes functionalized with the astonishing salt. Carbon nanotubes have unique properties that undergoes interactions makes them poorly dispersible in most of the solvents. Current functionalization of carbon nanotubes allows to modify their surface properties and improve their dispersibility. The spontaneous grafting of carbon nanotubes with diazonium salts can provide a high degree of functionalization that improves their dispersibility and allows to obtain a suitable material for its application in electronics. The objectives of this work were functionalize single wall carbon nanotubes with the diazonium salt obtained from the foraminobenzoic acid, characterize the nanomaterial obtained and modify glassy carbon electrodes with an optimized carbon nanotube dispersion, and analyze the electrochemical responses of different redox groups at the modified electrodes. For the functionalization, foraminobenzoic acid was added to single wall carbon nanotubes dispersed in dimethyl formamide with a radio arylamine nanotubes of 1.2. Isopentyl nitrate was then added as a reductant to obtain the diazonium salt. The reaction was allowed to proceed for 17 hours at 60 degrees. Modified carbon nanotube colloidal dispersions were prepared in ethanol water applying ultrasonic treatment for a desired time followed by ultracentrifugation to separate bundles, amorphous carbon, and other impurities. The optimal conditions to obtain the nanotubes dispersion was selected by analyzing the absorbance of the nanotubes at 254 nanometers. As we can see in the picture, as the sonication time increases, the number of nanotubes exfoliated in the supernatant increments and therefore the absorbance. From these results, 20 minutes of ultrasonic treatment was selected to prepare the nanotube dispersion and modify glassy carbon electrodes. The chemical modification of the nanotubes was confirmed by infrared and also by Raman spectroscopy evaluating the radio between the intensities of P and G bands. The figure shows in red the Raman spectra before and in blue after the chemical functionalization. The values of the radio obtained indicate an increase of the density of defects due to the chemical functionalization. The electrochemical response of modified electrodes was analyzed in sulfuric acid solution. Figure A shows the voltammograms obtained at different scan rates that present several anodic and cathodic peaks. Figure B shows that the peak current at 440 millivolts increases linearly with the increment of the scan rate. This characteristic, together with the result obtained by spectroscopy, indicates that these electrochemical processes correspond to the response of carboxylic groups confined on the surface of the functionalized carbon nanotubes. The electrochemical response of ascorbic acid was analyzed at glassy carbon electrodes modified with nanotube colloidal dispersants prepared applying different sonication times. Compared with pure glassy carbon electrodes, the electro-oxidation of ascorbic acid shows a decrease of the peak potential as the sonication time and the amount of nanotubes exfoliated in the colloidal dispersion increases. The electrochemical response of hydrogen peroxide was also analyzed. The figure shows the hydrodynamic voltammogram and calibration plots obtained for this analyte. The notorious reduction and oxidation currents are associated to the increment of the electrode area of the electrode while they decrease of the oxidation potential to the presence of carboxylic groups of the functionalized nanotubes. In conclusion, single wall carbon nanotubes were functionalized by spontaneous grafting with the same salt from four amino benzoic acid, and the functionalization was evidenced by different techniques. Functionalized nanotubes were well dispersed in ethanol water with 20 minutes of sonication treatment, and the dispersion was stable for more than 45 days. The modified electrodes show higher capacitive current, a catalytic response towards ascorbic acid, and notorious increments in the oxidation reduction currents of hydrogen peroxide. Finally, the electrochemical response is obtained, the stability of the dispersions, and the reproducibility of the system are promising characteristic for the application of this nanomaterial in electronalytical detection. The functional groups can also be used for the immobilization of redox enzymes. Thanks for your attention.